Senorita, nice to meet her You want to can drive, now the Benz it's sweet The dress you have on expensive And it really show off your extensive features So first, Bombard Bro, I'm not take out the voice crack there That off a stain of the edit But me, so for the, but the, so for 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 the, so no dog pattern up <coughs> and especially the video where we're about for do and pattern gang in the video where for pattern up first of the face I hear the voice and I don't know say I go just say for the go just say rock shut up damn I can't believe my voice actually crack like that me no shame you know I have no shame in the world I'm gonna keep it in so today we have the dead the, the, the I can't talk we have the deadly war in northwest London. Mozart versus South Kilburn by Skyboy. Subscribe and leave a like. Skyboy literally just left a comment on the video saying, Yo, bro, check out my new video, Deadly War in Northwest London. It's only 10 minutes long. So I was like, Shit, I'm already reacting right now. Let's do it, nigga. I'm saying. So um, we heard that a rapper from ER Pass, what was it like two weeks ago? Or like the start of the month. So we know that the beef active. You understand? Fred are always in a something with people. So you know Mozart beef active. You don't know R.I.P. Wu. R.I.P. the G dots other brother. Um Big Dots. You see me? R.I.P. to everybody. We know the we know the streets hot right now. Very, very, very hot right now. You see me? I say so R.I.P. to everybody involved. I want to see the information that's presented in this video. So, hit the like button, jump in the comments, and subscribe. Subscribe to me. You don't know. Subscribe so we can hit 5k and not a life k. You don't know, gang shit. It's been a war brewing in the borough of Brent. By the way, let me know if you drink, you know what I'm saying, some Capri Suns in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying, man. For a while now. Most of it happened in the northwest and west region of London. Today we'll be looking at two particular sets who have been at each other's throats for a minute now. Yeah. And some key events involving their allies. Firstly, I'll take you to the Mozart estate. Alright, the take me there. HRB, also known as Harrow Road Boys. This Ooh. estate is actually a very nice place. However, <laughs> it has high levels of social need and social housing. Geography is said to be one of the But say it's actually a nice place. No, what if you said that that actually catch my off guard? Arrow Road Boys. The estate is actually a very nice place. It's actually a However, very nice place. It has high levels of social need yeah. and social housing. Yeah. Geography is said to be one of the explanations for the violence, as the estate, although in the borough of Westminster, is yeah. very nearby to the borough of Brent, where located are most of their rivals. In the early two Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where him get all of this, 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 these charts from? The you tell do geography? No, sir. Bro, where is he getting all of these maps from? First of all, these are a regular map. I see where you get this, right? The borough of Brent. I, I can understand that. On most of their rivals. But this? The man have a map of gangs and where they are? How? <laughs> like, what's what, 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 no, sir, I don't understand. I don't understand. But I like this still. So if I'm ever going anywhere, I need to know who I'm going around. Watch it. Kilburn Bandits, Faculty, SK Estate, Church Road, Soldiers, Thugs of Stonebridge, Wembley for Dance. What's going on? In the early 2010s, I like it though. Mozart Estate and West London in general was put on the map by Rattling after he dropped a Messiah remix. Rattling. This song was ringing throughout the city. And to many, it gave West London credibility. You see, West London is generally pretty much seen as one of the most poshest and richest sides of London. This yeah. causes a lot of people to deny any struggle or brush off any talks of hoods being there. That's yeah. why rappers there aren't taken serious. There's even some lingering stigma till this day. However, present day West London rappers yeah. are the base of UK drill. Yeah, Central C, Digger, Fredo. Now let's look into the modern day HRB set. HRB are allied with several sets within the Northwest region. Kenzel Green Boys, Active hey. Gangs, St. Raphael's, to name a few of them. St. Raphael's? St. Raphael's is a gang? Was that in the chart that I just saw over here? St. Raph Soldiers, right? St. Raphael's, jeez, um. 
All right, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to react like that, but I did not think Saint Raph meant Saint Raphael's. Like what? Again, Saint Raphael's to name a few of them. One thing all these sets have in common is the fact that they flag red. Now I wouldn't say Bloods and Crips are a thing in London. Yeah. However, they definitely use the aesthetics to distinguish themselves from their ops for the most yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. Phrases like when I say Americans talking about, oh y'all trying to copy the flow, copy, bro. You're not the only people that have colored bandanas to represent stuff bro like like ain't nobody trying to follow you bro like if niggas is throwing up the blood sign and saying sue woo then fine but if they just have a red bandana no we're not they're not trying to follow it's just a red bandana bro like fuck off like sue woo and blue woo are also used modern day hrb is spearheaded by boss figure and hugely successful uk rapper fredo he's fredo. in the face of the gang he blends a nice trap star but very fashion oriented style into his music yeah. and appearance and it's extremely rated. Yeah, big up. Now on to South Kilburn Estate, home of UK rap legend C Biz. C Biz isn't really much different to Fredo. Home of UK rap yeah, legend C Biz. Bro, it look like the man been rich at grills and other mode, everything. Who as for style isn't really much different to Fredo. Also yeah. a fashion hate who devotes his life to getting money, which is seen from his movement ER. Everything's relevant, eating right, etc. With the E being a pound e. sign, of course. Wow. He's seen an interview saying ER is meant to motivate and inspire everyone. And everyone. how there's no excuse for being broke. Being broke as an able man genuinely makes him feel sick. <laughs> as you can see in this interview. Facts. Is there any excuse to be broke? No. Nah. No. You're an asshole to be broke. Why? Man say you're no, an man. asshole. <laughs> His friend is like, why? Why? Why are you broke? Why? No. Nah. Nah. You're an asshole to be broke. Why? Why? <laughs> South Kilburn members flag blue and are allied with Stonebridge, Ladbroke Grove, 51st, etc. Both estates, Mozart hey. and South Kilburn, were once unified until members from Mozart started having hostilities towards certain members from South Kilburn. This related to money issues. Over time, greed and envy led to a span of stabbings and shootings which had escalated into murders. Bro, you see, the streets always go like that, bro. Always, eventually, somebody's gonna get jealous. Somebody's gonna disrespect somebody. Somebody's gonna fuck somebody's girl. Somebody's gonna steal from something. Like, bro, it's the streets, bro. It's like, it's so in a way, but it's like, if you have a bunch of bad people around each other, bro, bad things are going to happen. Just simple. Fence sitting was no longer an option. Close friends were forced to pick a side. Focus on this particular video it isn't the history. So I'll leave the in-depth storytelling of how things transpired for another video, but rather focus on strings of violence that occurred between these two once United States. On March 4th, 2007, Tank, a South Kilburn member, was sitting in his Audi Wait, what? on March 4th, of violence that occurred between these two once United States. The information start now! On March 4th, 2007, That's a, Tank, long -ass a time South ago. Kilburn member was sitting in his Audi in broad daylight on Scrubs Ooh. Lane in Halsden. A shooter pulled How's up next it? to him oh. in another car and fatally shot him three times. The Jeez, killer then um. drove off and Tank was pronounced dead at the scene. Tyne man said he was just 20. And man said he was just 20. You know? Bro, imagine how you feel as a 20 year old for an Audi. He just said he was just 20. He said, oh my, I understand outside. Then man just pull up and, uh uh. Stay inside. You no know, Cavuela also known as Tanks, is thought to have been part of the South Kilburn gang and his murder is believed to have been part of a feud between his gang, Mozart and Kenzel Green Boys. Wow. On April 2000... One thing though, I don't think like... I, uh, how am I going to say this? A, a lot of the times I don't think niggas are caught off guard, you know. I think a lot of times they know. They just choose to ignore certain things. Like they might disregard certain niggas' threats like... If a nigga say, yo, bro, I'm looking for you, man, say, man, you ain't looking for shit, man. Just because he might not rate that guy's gangster, but the guy is really outside looking for you. And when him find you, he's gonna, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes people, niggas just disregard other niggas gangster or just don't take them serious until, hey. Or, you know, them probably put it out in the air like, yo, anyone I see around there, uh, uh, uh. And they're like, man, shut up, man. It ain't even that serious, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's the streets that there's so many different factors at play when you 
dealing with the streets like you never know what is the main reason unless somebody come out come tell you Zah and Kenzo Green boys on April 2012, Mozart member Hersey was shot in the chest twice on Mozart Estate by South Kilburn members. Look at Fredo, was taken to hospital, Young where Fred. his condition was initially described as life-threatening. However, he recovered later and was said to be in stable condition. Officers believed his assailant arrived at the estate by car. Sadly, just like every war, those who have nothing to do with it always get caught in between the violence. Yes, and this rang eerily true when an innocent nursery teacher named Nohanna was hanging out in the South Kilburn estate. Wait, Free what? teacher named Nohanna in between the violence. And this rang eerily true when an innocent nursery teacher named Nohanna was teacher? hanging out in the South Kilburn estate. Three members of HRB opened fire into a crowd and killed Mohanna as she was struck in the chest due to the bullet ricocheting off a nearby wall. HRB members involved in the murder will be charged, however cleared later. The murder remains unsolved to this day. Bro, mm -mm. you see why sometimes it's just better for not go a bad man place? Cause brother, you never know what can go on a bad man place, dog. You never know who is going to pull up to try and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Star. Maybe she was maybe she wasn't even hanging out. Maybe she live around the area. I don't know, bro. But they say a group of people say maybe everybody that chill out that night or something dog. It don't seem like, you know? It looked like people was hanging out. Now come the mid 2010s a new generation of youngsters came to the forefront of both estates. For Kilburn, prominent members such as 18 Clapo, 18 Clapo, Rode Ye started making music and putting Killy on the map. They now refer to themselves as SSK, SSK. also known as Southside Killy. Virus, sick as fuck. I'm stuck in the teeth for the Lizzie, Lizzie, catch me Southside Killy, Killy, it's just gonna take about Chingy, Ching, he done up just silly, silly. Now go clear up the Rizzy, grub come 10 like busy. Grub come ten like uh I was in a circle bust the felts. Uh spotted a you on the churches, piss I gotta jump out gang and works it. Heard there's a you on the landing, looks like I'm gonna have to lose my standard. J1 was a at no party though line them track some crime scene barbies. These are one need to check their stats, cause I swear three times up been splashed. My brownie was the archer back, but I can't hit that no way, she's trash. Sorry, sorry. You know me and the music, dog, I can't help myself. The new generation mainly has problems with the same areas, Mozart and Church Road. As for HRB, Fredo won in a power struggle against older Boss Belly after he returned from prison and saw the young boys he once told what to do became Boss Belly after he returned from Wow, so your boss go to jail, you outside and make all of the money for the girl now. Now you are saying, yeah, me are the boss now. And then you have to, oh my God. You know how much time that happening in Jamaica and it don't end this well? Like, boss come out of jail and what about them gang and just start kill everybody? from prison and saw the young what's the thing with boss belly just another guy who can't boys he once told what to do became boss just another guy who can't accept and believe how i'm living i used to be his young g so when he came home and we're all young bosses he didn't know what to do he said certain he shouldn't and man got on him simple you can't come back pussy keep lying on the internet saying my bro a snitch you lot ain't even caught a case but tell them what you nearly caught last time you came round. So yeah, Ima <laughs> Bro, like <clears throat> Ima have all of the money and the food and everything now, so now the young G's are gonna listen to him, yeah? Which themselves. Fredo came out on top and kicked Belly off the block. Kick him off the block. On July 2020, an event occurred that will change the dynamics of this beef forever. So pivotal that it will lead to a string. Now, yeah, not gonna lie, the music in this one, this this video is amazing. Like it makes you really into it. Yeah, say yo, I walk one. It's not like some movie soundtrack. That will change the dynamics of this beef forever. Eh? So pivotal that it will lead to a string of other tragic events. What? Ahmed Yassin Ali, 18, aka Arms, who was close to a few HRB members, was stabbed to death. Ahmed was a found at around 12.30 a.m. with multiple stab wounds. Uh. Officers gave him first aid and he was taken to Central London Hospital. Man, say he was he affiliated. He passed away at around 1 a.m. 
Channel. See, the death of arms hit Billy the Kid, a HRP member and close friend of Ahmed, extremely hard. Wow. He and some friends didn't waste time in trying to get back for their fallen brother. Less than a day passed and Billy the Kid and, and other members rolled out via car on the Stonebridge estate looking for members to feel their pain. Wow. Billy hopped out of the car and began firing. Unfortunately for him, his ops were armed and dangerous. Yeah, I fired back. Stonebridge members fired back during the shootout and shot Billy in the chest. The friends in the car were also hit but drove off leaving Billy on the floor where he died minutes later. Oh. Video circulating on Snapchat. I thought, I, I could have swear, well, I watched a video that said he got back in the car or friends tried to bring him in the car but then pushed him out when they realized he was dead or something like that, dog. Like, Shanoda, imagine going through all of this. Me not like that. Uh uh-uh. uh, me not want to go through none of that. Over him in the middle of the street with his eyes shut as paramedics tried to resuscitate him. Police labeled it as a crushing defeat. Now, to add salt into the wounds of his friends who had to leave him, they were charged for his murders. Individuals from the opposing gang who fired upon them were not identified what? by this. Individuals from the opposing gang who fired upon them were not identified by investigators and members of Billy's own gang were charged with his death in what is believed oh. to be illegal first. Oh my god. Imagine. And these two guys look Somali, bro. Some Somalian drillers. My Mali niggas still on my Mali shit, man. Splash that and waps not on Harvey Nicks. Jesus. This is just a lot, bro. Billy's own gang were charged with his death in what is believed to be illegal first. Imagine! A prosecutor told the courtroom that the humiliation suffered by Billy's fellow gang members must have been more than equal the pain they felt at the loss and injuries they have been afflicted upon them. You see me? Mr. Glasgow QC said, adding that it also led to a defeat that had been seeing them abandon their friend to die on the streets of their rivals. Gritty and Bizzle from St. Raphael's estate were proven to not be guilty in court of his murder but will still do time under the pretext of a law that suggests had they not got into the car with him in the first place, Billy wouldn't have died. Wow. Crazy man, things couldn't have gone any more wrong. You see me? The true definition of hitting rock bottom. Rock South Cuban bottom. members. Ah, uh, this is what I was trying to look for, bro. Um, The rapper that passed. But... Imagine that. You are your bridge and them going on a ride out. Your bridge will end up pass away on the ride out and then you go to jail for him passing away. <sighs> Stay your black ass inside, bro. Why are you joining gangs doing all of that? Don't do that. Don't waste time to get disrespectful. Rappers MLO and Fibs dropped one of the most disrespectful songs to come out from the beef, mocking the fact that two people died in the space of a day and the intro of the song mocks the ordeal that left Billy's friends to abandon him. I think um Diggardy was driving in his car listening to this. And then like he got in trouble with like some probation officer or something why him get like re- They were saying that's why he got recalled at the time. And the song that has known this is to his ops. So uh, I don't know. Day and the intro of the song mocks the ordeal that left Billy's friends to abandon him. Now on August 12, 2020, emergency services were called to reports of a shooting in Hansel Road at 12.20 a.m. On Wednesday, this is Mr. 2020. Wakeby, 26, a.k.a. Gucci, was attacked at home and was found with a gunshot wound to his chest, Scotland uh. Yard said. Despite the efforts of officers and paramedics, the man was pronounced dead at the scene. I remember them say he had this big yard. It's not no apartment or no council flat. The man living, bro. The man live our um, big, nice yard, brother. And the man, where them said this was. A call to reports of a shooting in Hanzo Road at 12:20 a.m. Hanzo Road. On Wednesday, Mr. Wegby, 26, aka Gucci, was attacked at home and was found with at a home. gunshot wound to his chest. That's what I mean. Yard said, despite man, them the come to your yard. and paramedics, the man was pronounced dead at the scene. Basically, what I was saying, why I paused it, because they were saying that nigga was like a real hustler, like top trapper, top hustler, really a make money in other thing. And really, I showed you them all for make money in other thing. Man, I'll buy him own and not even in the ends no more. 
and the man them still come find him and still Ray. I don't know how true all of that is, but I hear that still. Shortly after, HRB rapper Little Dots and active gang member Broad Day dropped a super fire drill track dissing Gucci as well as paying tribute to their fallen friend Billy. The video was almost at 1 million views in under a day before police took it down. Wow. Now a string of back oh, and roll forth up. social media shenanigans. And the thing is, them did this CGM in, uh, in there as well, so it was a whole heap of this is in there. We made the man them blow up still. I read that song though. Again, stabbings and shootings happened after, but fortunately, nothing fatal happened until 2022. Look, Ops getting shot out here. Can't even let the woman get through to their yard in peace, man. What's going on with you, man? Don't come around here and get hit up. Then got my residence troubling to get into their spot. Like, officer, let's start the forensics. Let's now, let's take a look at little dog. You see me, the feds there knowing that, yo. Man, we wish we could have arrested you, you see, because we know you're involved in other thing and you're right, right, right. Uh, like those feds, I know they hated Fred of their recording, trying to be funny. The face of the new generation HRB. He has two brothers in Wu and G Dots. Yeah. G Dots was sadly killed in a police R. chase. R. He was only 15 in a Nissan Micra, which is believed to have been traveling at 70 miles per hour before it crashed. On Tuesday. Damn! Me they think uh, like some ups thing are going on. star. Yo, you see what I mean? You can literally like a thousand ways to die on road, bro. Literally, you don't know. Ups, cops, wrong place, wrong time. Crash when you're in a chase. Like, um, it's too much, bro. It's too many ways you can lose your life in that lifestyle, bro. Like too many tuesday 19th july 2022 woo on tuesday 19th july 2022 this recent in a man fresh you know he's still feeling the pain of this bro woo the older brother of little dots was shot outside a block of flats in queen's park west london he took himself to hospital after being shot and received treatment but died soon after a post-mortem Police name man shot in heart. Jesus Christ. Examination confirmed he died from a gunshot wound ah. to the heart. And that he had also been shot in the back. Ah. Tributes flooded in from friends and family. Not many can comprehend the sheer pain his little brother was going through. You see me? So have now lost two, two brothers. brothers. Two Must be gut wrenching. But here's an interesting video from Wu a while before he passed. In the park? Here he says, my hit has come quick. My hit has come quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Reese Money. I'm like Reese Money. Hits come quick. Come quick. He might be out for a week only. <laughs> might be out for a but week only. A but that video, I like that video because that literally shows how the man them can just end up farmer gang. You saw the niggas behind him on the seat on the bench. Probably is a girl this, but you see people over there saying on the bench, on that bench, hit come quick. and then you see him probably sitting beside the other two people. The guy that's recording, niggas just outside chilling all day, bro. So you're gonna build connections with people, you're gonna build vibes with people, right? And then if something happens to them, you're not gonna just sit down and let it slide. Cause then when you go back to the park, they ain't gonna sit with you, bro. Cause they was like, yo, you didn't have my back when. Rah, 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 rah. So, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm making excuses. I'm not trying to make any excuses for it though. Is that I just can't understand how the man them life can just spiral out into nothing, dog. You know them way there? It's just sad though. So you might be out for a week, <laughs> But even a month passed after Wu's death and South Kilburn were fatally struck again. On the what? 4th of September, Maximilian Cusi, 29, aka M Low, you know the rapper I spoke about earlier. Oh. The one that made the super, you know, disrespectful diss song towards Billy. Yeah. Well, he was found suffering from gunshot wounds at Kesington High Street shortly after 2 a.m. on Sunday. Extremely talented drill rapper Maximilian. Jeez, I'm what a name. Kusi also shot there by Kingsington High Street flats. Family affairs or anything that's worth it. Oh, okay. Monday. He was rushed to Central London Hospital where he died shortly after at R.I.P. a.m. Damn, you see, yo, dog, big up, big up, big up, big up, Skyboy for this. Pagans get got. <laughs> big up, Skyboy for this, dog. But 
Jeez, Sam. That's why you know somebody did a good job in explaining the war between two people. When you're done, you just feel like, man, I don't even want to listen to drill right now, bro. I want to re- read a Bible <laughs> and I want to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, no way. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. All of this is too much, bro. Too many ways. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Like, bro, so many dumb ways to die, dog. R.I.P. to everybody involved, bro. Fucked up. But as I say, I understand how it can start off one way and then before you know it, <sighs> everything's fucked. Man, them just try to live them life day by day, trying to make it seem like everything alright, but everything not alright. Everything is fucked. And they know that, but they have to put on a front for us, you know what I mean? So, I like this video. Big up Skyboy for this. 10 minutes and I feel like I'm get woolly for the 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? We got the, 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 the map. The map of gangs in Northwest or West. What? What? I've never seen that before. I need more of that. So if Skyboy, if you have more of that, bring more of that on the channel and I'll react to it. You don't know. So, I like this video. Let me know if you like this video. If you don't like this video, let me know what else you want to see me react to. Hit the like button, jump in the comments, and subscribe. Subscribe to me. You don't know, subscribe so we can 5k and not a life k. You don't know. Go just say about this motherfucker, man. Peace. Senorita, nice to meet her. You want to take a drive, not the Benz. It's sweet. The dress you have on expensive, and it really show off your extensive feet.